Hey there, travelers. Explorer Steve here. So I uh, thought I'd make a video today about uh, how I found these two beautiful exotics in No Man's Sky Origins. It wasn't too easy to get a first one. The second one was easy as could be though. I'll show that one in the second video. Um, so for the first one, the portal coordinates are at the end of the video. But it actually comes to getting to the right location and then having tons of patience. That's just key. You need patience. I can't stress that enough. So what's the play? Uh, you get to a portal. Uh, you put in the right glyphs and get to the space station ASAP. And everywhere I could read about it, uh, I found that the best place to get the spaceship was on the planet where you come out of the portal. But let's say after plus minus 70... Uh, 50 saves, not 70, 50 saves, and reloads, it didn't pop for me. Um, well, I gotta be really honest, it did pop once, uh, I might find the clip of it. Uh, so I saw it flying to me, and I thought it would be landing, but it just went up straight into the atmosphere, straight into uh, uh, space. So yeah, that was a bit of a bummer for me, but yeah, no problem. Um, so... You need to find a portal, and finding a portal in No Man's Sky can be a bit tricky. Um, you'll need to locate an alien monolith first. This can be done by uh, flying up to a space station up and talk to the cartographer. Uh, he will be located to the left of the teleporter. So here goes. Um, yeah. You see, I've already got it, the exotic. But um, what you want to do is... You want to get to... The space station. Whenever, whatever planet you are on, you just want to get to the space station. Once you're in the space station, you get to this guy. Cartographer. And you buy... Planetary charge. So, exchange maps. And then you, you buy this one, Planetary Shard, Alien Cartographic Data. It's best to buy a few because chances are remote that you won't be getting the Alien Monolith as first thing that pops up. So just buy a few. And then what you do is you go to your uh, inventory, you see these, and just plot a route. For me it's E because I'm playing on PC. And then it will show an alien artifact detected. It should pop up somewhere. There it is. So, an ancient plaque. Let me just check and uh, open a few more. Ah, alien monolith detected. That's the one I'm talking about. So, it's gonna be on the same planet. That's no problem. It's even, even good. Could show the plaque if you want, but yeah. It will make uh, the video longer than it needs to be, and that's not what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do the monolith. There's um, there will be a riddle then. You can just land here, and you'll have to solve that riddle. If you don't solve it, yeah, you got a problem. You you won't see the the portal show up. So. Get to the monolith. If you want to learn some extra languages, you can do it by just activating these things. Knowledge stones. There, did it. Vikin word for sleep. So, here goes. You uh, interact with a legacy of blah blah blah. And um, I'm suddenly underwater. I'm drowning. Water clogs my lungs. My chest is on fire. I gasp for air where there is none and feel only tepid liquids filling me inside and out. My vision is clouding. I know this is my time. This is it. This is what it feels like. Suddenly a green hand thrusts itself through the surface of the water. The light is fading. Reach for the hand. Oh. Hmm. That wasn't the right answer. So, yeah, you see? Nothing happens. That's actually a good thing. Because now we just reload the game. That's the pretty stuff about it. 
when you exit your ship you get a, an automatic uh, save point restore point so you can just reload game and then go to uh, the monolith again and then uh, maybe it's best we solve the riddle the right way and okay I'd say reaching for the hand was somewhat of a good way but yeah I guess we die then so yeah let's go out we all the reverts and there we go this thing is lighting up okay so now we can uh, interact with it and you can locate a portal and as if I haven't been stupid enough I didn't bring a viking dagger with me um, it's it's key to do that so I'm just going to go to the space station again uh, talk to the guys let me see do I have enough inventory space yeah so ah, not enough fuel to launch man oh man oh this is this is, is oh yeah this is my day oh, perfect so okay uh let's make starship launcher fuel and put it in the launch thrusters so bop. back to space sorry guys this clip is gonna be like uh 15 minutes instead of five minutes but just bear with me you'll you'll, you'll learn a fair amount of it i hope i think i promise yeah, I promise. So you go to the space station, you wait for the guys to uh, land their ships, and then you can buy Viking daggers from them, since it's a Viking system. And how do I know it's a Viking system? Because the portal asks for a Viking dagger. You could also check it in other ways, but yeah, it was kind of obvious. Normally you can check it in your discoveries and then uh, your chose. So there's a place where you're at with the, the, the marker and then its uh, dominant life form is the Viking. So if you are in another system, this means you can be in a, in a Gek system or you can be in a Corvac system. If you're in one of those, you'll need to buy the... Uh, how is it called again? the Corvax casing I think and the Gek relic so if you're watching this clip and you're gonna try this then just wait for that stuff first in the space station and uh, yeah get it in your pockets in your inventory oh there's a first ship and then uh, go to the planet with the, with the monolith because else you'll have to do the stupid stuff I just did so, okay, let's hope this guy has something for me. Find the locking ship. I call it the insect. It uh, reminds me of a bug. So, buy items from Lifeform. And he should have some Viking. Oh man, doesn't he? Uh, you're not a friend of me. Okay, so, on to the, to the next one. One of those guys should have a Viking deck around him. Since it's the only... Oh, there are other ways to get him. Sometimes they are in the... They are viable in the space station, but... Yeah. Okay. He doesn't have a meter. Yeah, I didn't get too lucky with finding a Viking dagger on space station. So the next best option is to go to the planet. Find the trading post and check out the uh, organs over the there. So I'll just for fast forward it to that part. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, change ship, change ship, not do the other thing, 
Uh, I, I think this one has the scanner on him. So, I'm to Papa. I'm to Papa Gak. Does it? Let's just check it. Yeah. So, scan for a trading post. Trading post detected. That should move. Should make life easier. Where is it? On the other side of the planet. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it be? So we all know shortcut is back to space. Because you'll fly a little bit faster. And then you dive down again. And tag it. Yeah, whatever. Don't catch me if I'm diving down. Land it and see what they got to sell. Oh yeah, here we go again with the mating. Oh man, uh, I should have told I hated getting. So yeah, looks like I made an augmentation of my ship, but it isn't. It's just someone uh, mating with my ship. We are both looking at it. So that's some weird physics. Okay, check the terminal. Man, you gotta be kidding me. Viking stuff. Talk to the guys. Let's hope one of them. I don't want. Uh, I don't want to give away my own Viking stuff. Aha! Finally, we're lucky. So this is what we were looking for. I only need one. I'm gonna buy four. You never know when I need it again. And the Viking if if whatever it is. I'm gonna be part of it. Um since we are on another planet, it might be interesting to just find the portal here. That avoids us flying to uh, the planet where we found the first monolith. Um, so what we do here is just open the cartographic, the planetary shard. Let's see what it shows. Does it show a monolith on this planet? If so, that will be perfect. Signal detected. What, what kind of signal? What is it? doesn't show much actually it's a uh, ancient ruin no not one ancient ruin so here we go again let's see nothing found you got kidding me ah, he just keeps pinpointing that ancient ruin so to make life easier i'm just going to the portal i showed earlier and that it's the one that I can't really tag pretty well because um, oh that's the wrong planet wasn't it somewhere else oh man did it disappear ah don't say it disappeared Wasn't it on one of the ice plants? Yeah, it was. Where's the other one? Let me see again. Planetary shard. Ah, ancient monolith. That's the one we needed. Where is it? So, monolith. Like, no, I want to go there, not want to attack my monolith. Okay. So, yeah, 
for some reason I lost the monolith on the other planet, doesn't matter. I'm going for this one. Do the uh, thingy he uh, asks for, the riddle. And then just ask for the portal. But I know where the portal is on this planet, so yeah, that's yeah. kind of irritating. Doesn't matter though. Because I, I got my base built. Uh, at the portal on this planet. Just to make life a little bit easier. Also, as you notice on the right hand corner, the Purge Atlas sequence, that's the quest line you need to do to get all the uh, glyphs. There are two ways to get all the glyphs for the portal. Uh, one way is do the Artemis quest line, which takes pretty long, but it's uh, yeah, it's worth it because it's a fun quest line, and uh, there comes a moment in time where you have to jump to different systems, and uh, you'll get a glyph every time you jump. The other part is uh, talk to travelers in space stations. Um, every time you talk to a traveler and you ask where he comes from, he will give you a uh, location of a grave. And if you go to that grave and you open it, then you will find the uh, a glyph. So, yeah. Two ancient stone cups materialize in front of a monolith. One is filled with a dark red vicious liquid. The other contains a sticky fluid that has a bright yellow and smells powerfully bitter. Ooh. Pitter yellow. Oh, seems it was the right one. It's perfect. So, yeah, here goes. Look at me doing this stuff right. Um, you have learned the Atlas word for will. Okay, whatever. So, what you can do now is you go back to the monolith and then locate a portal. One Viking dagger, and it should show the portal I've already got, which is uh, there. No, that's the ancient black. So yeah, yeah, he was was actually showing my my own portal. That doesn't matter. I'm I'm, I'm just going to the portal I've got. He doesn't show a new portal because there are only there is only one portal per planet. So um, if you do this thing, you'll you'll see the portal you already got. Don't think it shows a portal on another planet. No, yeah. So the tag is behind my tag, as you will see. I fly to it. And you'll see it shows up that purple thing with the... Uh, yeah. Oh. So, let's fly there and it will say uh, destination reached or something like that. You see, behind my white uh, and black star thingy, there, there's also a purple thing. So, yeah. It did show my portal. It's just the same portal. Here goes. See? Portal. So, just land in front of it. Or anywhere you want to. You can land miles away if you want. It's, that's your own choice. Then you go to the portal. And this thing will pop up. Now, I've already loaded my portal, but if you open it... The first thing you'll, you'll have coming up is... Um, not this. If you open the portal, you see... Uh, yeah, this, this circle actually that you're looking at. This one. You'll see that circle and you'll have to put... Um, stuff to load the portal 
Uh, I will try to link in the description what kind of stuff you need. You need like copper and oxygen and stuff like that, carbon, to load the portal. But once you loaded the portal, it stays open for eternity as long as you want to use it. So that's that's a good thing about it. So as I was saying for this exotic activate portal, what you want to do is get to these coordinates it's i think the squid thingy again a squid thingy then it's the face or whatever this this guy the, the tp uh then it's another squid uh, another face another tp then it's butterfly like thingy the the, the moon stuff this one hot air balloon spaceship and another moon so then you get the, the stargate like thingy where the portal goes like yeah there it is and you just uh hop in and you go like yay and then the next thing you'll see is you're on another planet now as i said before what i've read everywhere is that you have the best chance of finding that exotic on the planet itself and you'll see in the communication beacons normally if i'm correct yeah so you see there are a few communication beacons here lots of people have been here and they will probably say something like it's still here or hi or hello or whatever still works august 2020 three wing october 20 station one reload three plus wave so space station just wait thanks so yeah um what i read was that the best chance oh yeah as you see your uh, starship is here what i read is that your best chance to get it was on the the station here on the base itself uh, on the planet itself uh, i i seems to be there see the communication station but personally for me it was a space station I've done 57 save games. I noted it down here on a paper. Uh, 57 space, uh, save games and reloads on the planet. And I've done about... I must see that I'm not lying, but I think I did about 10 to 12 in the space station. And uh, yeah, then it showed up. So what you do is... You get to the space station. And here starts the easy and patient stuff. So, get to the space station. Yokawa Stellar Observer. You pop out. And the moment you pop out, you'll see you'll have a restore point saved. And then... The patience game starts. What you want to do is, or what I've seen, it's a first wave ship. So this means it will pop up on the first wave of ships that's coming in. Since I already got it, I don't think I will get it a second time. So I will be pasting a part of another video inside this one to show you how to get it. But, um, yeah. You'll see, this, this isn't it. And that's not it either. Uh, normally there will be like three to four ships coming in. So that's not it either. And that doesn't really look like it either. So what I do here and what you should be doing here Hopefully you're lucky, maybe you get it in two times, three times, four times, five times, doesn't matter. Hopefully you're lucky, maybe the first time. But what you want to do here is just reload the autosave that just got created when you exited your star shuttle or spaceship or whatever you want to call it. And then the reload takes a few seconds, depending on how fast your PC or console is or whatever you're playing with. And then you're back in the space station and the wave will just come in again. Uh, I'll just show it one more time. Don't 
bottom. And then I'm uh, stopping this video. I will paste the moment I found my uh, shuttle into the other one. Um, I was thinking if I get really lucky I get it a second time, but that would be uh, very sad because I've got six uh, shuttles right now. And I really don't want to let go of this one because of the adventure space. Uh, so I would just let it pass. Um, yeah. So you see, ships are popping in. That's it. That's it for you guys. Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me. So, yeah. Just as I wanted to leave the game, you get this one coming in. You see, that's, that's only one reload. I've... I've done it about the whole day yesterday. Done it like, yeah, I don't know, 57 plus plus 10 or whatever. A lot. So let me see. I, I got one with 17 slots. This will probably be the one with 20 slots or something like that. And I'm gonna hate it. But yeah, it's how it goes. And I'm not gonna drop my ship for this one. Oh, oh lucky me. It's only the 15 slot. That's probably the worst one you can get. So that's the downside of this ship. It's not. It, it only cost five million. Mine cost seven point five million. It's an S class because it's an exotic. Um, but yeah, fifteen slots. <laughs> that's not something you want. Uh, so if you are not happy with the first one you get, yeah, then then it just depends on how long you want to play the patience game. But yeah, this is it. I hope it works out for you and. Uh, Good luck on your hunting, travelers. See you later.